Brooklyn. What's up, man? It's your boy Joe Jenkins, and I'm here tonight at Linda Wood Diner with my man Ray Dijon and TK Kirkland and a bunch of funny other comedians, man. We turning up tonight, man. I got my glasses on, and I don't even need prescription, baby. We doing our thing. Straight out of Brooklyn, I'm coming from Brownsville, and we gonna take it home, baby. You dead. Oh, hell no. Yo. The drink. This is Paul my song. You can cut the music. Cut the music. What up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Brooklyn style, man. I'ma just jump right in it, man. My life is crazy, man. I grew up with a very cheap family. And when I say family, I mean mother. My mother used to do cheap things like make me wear uniform to school. And I know that doesn't sound very cheap but it's cheap when you don't go to a uniform school. <laughs> and what made it worse was that she made me wear her old work uniform to school. I think I was the only seventh grader that worked for security or security. I didn't know whether to clock in for work or get to class, I was confused. And the holidays was the cheapest she could get. I remember I told my mother one year for Christmas I wanted a drum set. I shouldn't have done that. Tell me why when I opened my gifts Christmas morning, my drum set consisted of pots, pans, buckets, and two wooden spoons. I said, Ma, these ain't no drums. She said, when you beat on them, they make noise, right? I said, yeah, but it's roaches crawling in and out of the buckets. She said, that's your audience. And I get out my face and go amuse them. It's a damn shame, man. For real, man. It's a damn shame. I'm this all serious shit. That's why I'm drinking Paul Masson at 26. It's a damn shame, man. And my mother was seasonally cheap, too. The summer was her cheapest as well. She used to send me and my siblings out to those free public school meals faithfully, man. And she'd wake us up early for free breakfast. Then we'd go back outside for free lunch. Then she'd let us stay outside late hoping they'd open for free dinner. <laughs> ma, it's 10 o'clock, ma. They not opening, ma. Can we eat some Franks or something? And my mother, you know, I, I, didn't, un I didn't understand my mother but she helped me understand certain things in life. Like, I never knew the definition of a living room. You feel me? Like, what is a living room? But, but she helped me understand. Because as a grown man living with your mother, you're going to be living in that living room. That's your motherfucking living room. Oh, man, they done got me started, man. Come on, man. You know how many times I wake up, people playing 2K in my air? Come on, can you have some respect? I'm sleeping. Come on, man. I'm stressed, man. I'm stressed, man. But no matter how crazy my mother was and cheap, I wish I was a kid again, especially in this era, because kids nowadays are living lavish. Like my niece Kamora, for instance, who's 10 years old and never worked a day in her life. Every year, my sister take her on vacation. Just last year, she went to Jamaica. Like I said, I'm 26, and I've never been to Jamaica. The closest I've been to Jamaica was gold and crust on Flatbush Ave. <laughs> And I still didn't have enough money for a chicken roti because I'm broke. For real, man. That's why I wish I was a rapper. Because it seems like all you have to do is know how to put your words together, make them rhyme, and you can be successful. Like, I can make a song about stretch marks and C-sections, and it'll be a hit, and it goes sound like this. I'm going to slow it down for y'all. Stretch marks and C-sections, five kids and she's stressing. On wick, free food, juicy juice, now she flexing. Baby daddy, she be texting, child support in three seconds. On house, section eight, her debit card got three letters. <laughs> EBT, cash and food, those supermarkets she be dashing through. When it comes to food, she don't play. Snacks low, she got food for days. Oreos, Captain Crunch, Nutter Butters, those bags of Lay's, can't tell her nothing, she got it made, college student financial way. School clothes, new phones, her kids, Jordan's no layaway, but a stretch marks like finger waves, cocoa butter, but down fade away. <laughs> you connect the lines, you can spell her name at a football game, she can start the wave. In the club, turning up, turn down for what, but a crib ain't clean. 
She's making a bed just to get rid of the stress. Now she finished with stretch. Her C-section next. Her stomach is looking a mess. Sent you a picture through text from Brooklyn to Queensbridge to Bronx and Manhattan, Duke. All across Staten Island, too. Every chick is rocking that. Stretch marks and C-section. Stretch marks and C-section. Five kids, welfare, on wick, and she's stripping. Let me recall that, man. I need a deal, man. It's all about my life, man. This is real stuff, man. Come on, man. Oh, man, I'm stressed, man. I ain't even gonna lie, I'm stressed. Mm -hmm. Woo! It's crazy, man. But that shows you I dated a lot of weird women, man. I dated a lot of crazy women. I dated this one crazy chick who gonna tell me, Joe, I got athlete's feet. I said, so why you took your shoes off? She said, because I feel comfortable around you. I said, so get uncomfortable because your feet stink. And how you got athlete's feet? You're not even a damn athlete. It don't make no sense. It don't. Never played the sport in her life. She's an athlete. I dated this other chick who had a C-section scar on the stomach. There's nothing wrong. Kids are a blessing. But what had me confused was she ain't no kids. Come on, man. Where you got the scar from, Vietnam? You a vet? Come on, man. You had stitches or staples, which one? I don't know, man. I also dated this one chick who was a Beyonce fanatic. Especially when Flawless came out. All I heard was I wake up, Flawless, go to sleep, Flawless, post it up. I had to say, shut up. Because the way your apartment look, you should be singing, I wake up, roaches, go to sleep, roaches, eat a snack with them roaches, take a bath with them roaches, my TV, roaches, my AC, roaches, my pots, roaches, my socks, roaches, I woke up like this. Roaches, crawling, stomp on. Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, man. Life is good, though, man. I can't even, I can't even complain about the women I dealt with. You know what I'm saying? You got to appreciate what you could get. Because I could be honest with myself. I'm ugly. I'm not even going to lie. I'm ugly. And there's certain situations in life that helped me realize that I was ugly. Like, I used to always think I was handsome because I was funny and I dressed nice. But you know you ugly. When you ask a chick, what's your type? And she say, oh, no, I don't got no type. Then you try to get one, she be like, oh, no, you're not my type. <laughs> what? Had this one girl tell me I got the, the face of a long-lasting friendship. What does that mean? <laughs> we, don't even, we ain't even gonna last that long. We, we gonna die one day. I got a type of face that, that'll make a gold digger say no thank you. She don't even want my money. This one chick gonna tell me you got the face only your stepmother could love. Not my mother, my stepmother. My father in jail, I ain't got no stepmother. Come on, probably got a stepfather. But it's cool. <laughs> That's his life though. I got mine, he got his. Speaking of my father, my father's crazy. My father used to do things like kiss me on the lips. And it's not wrong if your child, probably a few months, one, two. That's the oldest. But I was 15, man. Come on, so don't drop me off at school and kiss me, boy. Don't do that. Give me a dap or something. And he used to do crazy things like bring me lunch to school while I was at lunch. It's like, I'm eating already, one. Then you, the lunch you bring me is worse than the lunch the schools is serving. Come on, you want to bring me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on pizza day? You must be out your rabbit ass mind if you don't think I'm eating this pepperoni slice, man. I'm not eating that peanut butter and jelly. Oh, man. I just need to take a seat real quick and sip some more of this poorly, man. I'm stressed, man. I just had my first kid, too, man. 26. Tried to wait to 30. Thank you. He two months. Thank God that he's, he's handsome. He ain't get it from me. Got it from his mother. You know? My, 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 my girl, she's 35 years old. I'm 26. It's nothing wrong. I love older women and all. But she make me feel like I'm in a relationship with my aunt. Like, come on. Come on, son. Do this, do that. You can't hold a baby like that. It's my first kid. Come on, man. I had to tell her it's an age difference, man. 
when you was 15 doing your thing, running around like a young whippersnapper, come on, I was like five. I don't know a lot of shit, man. Oh, man. Before I get out of here, where are my Jamaicans at? All right, because I'm about to talk about them real quick. Ain't nobody clap. Me and Jamaicans can't get along. And for the simple fact, I don't understand shit they saying when they talk to me. When a Jamaican talk to me, it's like Charlie Brown in school. All I hear is, well, guang, guang, guang. Well, guang, guang, guang. Well, guang, guang, guang. Respect, respect. I can't lie, I used that to my advantage when I had jury duty, though. I heard this lady say, if you're not from America and you don't speak English, line up against the wall, you're going to be privately screened and sent home. I said, that's my chance to get out of here. So I bust through the door, why, guang, bedron. Respect, respect. She said, "That's that's actually English, sir. You can line back up." I got, I went, I got mad. Turned jam rock. Me no, no, no. Tell about no fuck, no English man. Me no bomba clad English man. Me straight shot talk. The sweet taste of cinnamon is the winner, man. That's my time, Brooklyn. I love y'all. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Y'all give it up for my man. though. give it up for Joe Jenkins. <laughs>